everybody? Mark Loveliner, TigerFitness.com, but now I'm not doing a peck jiggle or anything. I'm going to be professional. Um, I know y'all are like, wow, been in this industry for 12 years. We've never seen you professional. I take judging very seriously. Um, when I judge a show, I announce on YouTube it's going to be the fairest show ever. And I stand by the fact that this judging panel at the USBF Pro-Am up in New Jersey this weekend was probably the fairest judge show um, other than the other ones I've been at. The Muscle Mania show, Ron's shows are always uh, very, very good, very, very well judged. Um, you had people like Damon Gillis, IFPA Pro, Chad, uh, <laughs> Chad, Chad Austin, he's the OCB president. Um, yeah, Joy, her last name I can't pronounce. By the way, Joy's hot, and she's also sexist. Um, you know what? Here's the deal, guys. Kent knew. Bring me into the show. If I see any, I even told this to him, if I see any funny stuff going on, I'm going to throw some chairs. Now, here's the deal. I didn't know anybody personally on that stage. In fact, the person who is having issues with our judging is actually someone I've never even seen a picture of. I'm going to claim ignorance here. I don't follow the Team U. I don't even follow the IFBB. You know, I judge shows. I'm blind as a bat. I don't follow bodybuilding, guys, but I know what to look for as a judge, and I myself am a national level competitor. Now, the person in question, I'm not going to call out your name. People are going to know who I'm talking about, but I have to do this because I can't comment on your Facebook. I'm not going to diss you, bro, because you're an awesome bodybuilder. You're one of the best I've ever seen, but I'm going to explain to you why you placed fourth. And this gentleman I'm talking about, y'all are going to know who I'm talking about if you follow natural bodybuilding. He won the team universe. He's an IFBB pro. And he was competing in the USBF Pro-Am. Now, I'm not dissing the USBF, but it's not the IFBB. So he came into a show he is overqualified for. There is prize money. He can do that. Old pa more power to you. But you placed fourth. Here's the deal, bro. I had you sixth. Right there. My notes were good size. You're fucking huge. You're a big dude. You probably kicked my ass on stage. But I wasn't competing against you that day. Need more conditioning. Great wheels. Faded as it went. Here's the deal. Number three who won the entire show. He came in dry. I put dry with an exclamation point. Nice condition and good arms. He had the overall package. He was smaller than you. Quite considerably. But damn it, man. He brought conditioning. I'm going to call you number 15. You had phenomenal muscularity. Phenom your glutes were in. Here's the deal. For those of you watching the show, your boys, or where the pictures were taken from, it's taken from way back there. Now, if you look at a dude in the gym, from across the gym, and he's posing, you could have some dude who's not in shape look like Arnold from a distance, right? Here's the deal. I'm up close. I'm looking up at an angle. I could see every flaw. You weren't in the shape you were. Or even close. You're about 10 pounds of fat off. I'm just being real with you, bro. From what I saw, now I didn't see any pictures of you till after this. When um, Kent told me there was an issue. Um, and, and people, actually people you don't even know sent this. Were sending me emails copying and pasting what you wrote on Facebook. Um, you brought it public. I just want to explain why we placed you where you are. You didn't bring it. I mean... Muscularity and size is one part of the equation, and it, to say that we're, you know, to even think, insinuate, I don't even know if this was said, that it's because you're an NPC guy, dude, I'm an NPC guy. I had you lower than you, you placed. Now, I wasn't punishing you for anything, but when you stood next to those guys from my angle, no offense, they made you look not in shape. They made you look, um, you know, in your pictures alone... Um, I even looked at a couple of your Facebooks with Kent the other day. You look phenomenal. But when you put you on stage under those lights that show every imperfection, you just deserved, in my opinion, somewhere between fourth and sixth. Top three, um, number nine, had great wheels. Just was smaller than you, but he brought it, man. He brought that crisp conditioning. While you outmassed everyone, you weren't at your best, and those other guys were. On this day, you lost. So... The judging, in my opinion, was more than fair. In fact, I think your placing right there was better than what I put you at for that day. Um, I'm not calling you out. 
I don't think you're a bad person, but at the end of the day, I will go on the limb and say this. That Joe was fair. It was judge fair. And I'd be the first one to call some shitty judging. I'll be the first one to throw a chair. But damn it, man. You have no reason to complain. Except for the fact that you needed what I put here. You need another four to eight weeks of dieting, depending on how hard you diet. You needed a good five to ten pounds of fat. However you want to do that, that's your call. If you were to do a show in four to six weeks with extra dieting, you'd kick ass. If you brought in, you had shredded glutes at the body fat you were at. If you got those etched in and got your upper body with the leanness, got your quads nice and etched and feathered, like I've seen the pictures of you at the universe at, by all means you would have won. But you didn't. And it just doesn't look good on anybody. And your initial reaction to it was quite fair. I myself have a family. I want to spend more time with them. I'm cutting back on competing as well. But dude, this wasn't your day. It wasn't the judging panel. It was the other competitors. They brought it. And you didn't. That's it. But I hope to see you in the future. If we see each other, just realize I'm doing this out of respect. Just to tell you that, look, we didn't screw you over. I'll stake my reputation. I'll stake my bank account. My two companies. Everything on the fact that this show was judged fair. All right, brother? Look, if we see each other, I'm going to shake your hand. Please don't punch me in the face because you are big. And um, look, you're a phenomenal bodybuilder. Don't let this get you down. But know that when you don't come in shape, I don't care. And also, Kent's thing was, well, natural shows, you know, compared to the NPC, which Universe is a natural show. Um, the judging is a bit more based on conditioning. Nah, I would have placed you the same if this was an NPC show. I judge every show the same based on the categories. So you know what? Keep your head up high and keep rocking it, dude. You're a fucking IFBB pro, man. You're doing what I'm dreaming of doing. You've done it. Now just move forward and bring that conditioning that won you that damn IFBB Pro card, all right? Mark Lobunner, TigerFitness.com. Wonderful show. I'm going to go over my recap of it in a little bit. Peace out.